everyone. Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to my channel. If you saw crafting therapy yesterday, you saw that we used the ribbon threading craft kit number 42 from Crafters Companion subscription box um, to create a journal page in my junk journal. So I'll just show you real quick the page that um, we created yesterday and use the ribbon threading to add that element of interest and, and just give it a new look. But today we're going to make a card and it's my puppy dog's birthday. So that would be fun to just to make a card, um, even though he doesn't know much about it being his birthday other than we sang happy birthday to him. Do you sing happy birthday to your dog? <laughs> anyway, and we gave him a treat and we gave him a toy, a new toy. Anyway, so we're going to make a card with the ribbon threading and we're going to, um, we're going to make it for my puppy dog. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to subscribe. Just click that subscribe button. Anyway, uh, give this a thumbs up if you don't mind. And I hope you enjoy this idea. We're going to make a six by six card. We're going to add some charms that I have that are puppy related. And then I have some stamps from Crafters Companion as well. So we're going to have some fun with this. But first, we're going to cut out this ribbon right here, this threading die. And we're going to completely cut it out uh, separate from the card. And we're going to put it on sort of like a collar um, would be on the card. So we're going to take this all apart and run it through the die cutting machine so that it cuts completely out of the paper, just like um, that's what these dies will do. They'll cut it out completely. And then you just decide on how wide you want it to be. And then I suggest if you're gonna do this to tape it down with some low tack tape or um, washi tape. Okay, I cut this out. And instead of adding the magnetic, I just added a piece of cardstock underneath to give it a little more, um, uh, and I know a number, a number of you have asked about the die cutting, just so it'll give it a little more uh, thickness for the cutting, but not require the magnetic. Um, so let's see how it turned out. This turned out really good. So now I just need to snip right there and we'll take it completely out of here. Now to snip this, I'm just going to come in here between these two and just do a little snip. And this is going to come right out of the paper. So, and then you could save this if you wanted to, to use for, for uh, framing another die if you wanted to. Now we have this really cute, don't you see that kind of as a, um, a collar? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and that's going to mat and layer on there. But first, we're gonna cut out um, some ribbon and weave that in. And I think we'll do the blue. Uh, I think I like the blue. So we'll do this blue here. It won't take all of it. This measures about five inches, so we can trim it if we want to. And then that way, uh, it'll fit with the mat and layer on the actual card, which is a six by six. So to weave this through, it's really easy. You don't really need tape or anything, but if you wanted to, so I'm just gonna show you, you can come up through the back and cover this middle piece and then just go through and weave up here. You don't really need any um, needle or anything and just up and through and up and through. And you could use a little bit thicker width if you wanted to with your ribbon, but this is what came with the kids. So I'm just gonna stick with that. So this is what it looks like when you weave it through. And to secure it, you're just gonna put some tape on the inside or some glue right there 
So we'll just do that real quick so you can see. And I'm just gonna use some tape um, to hold it in place because it will be glued down. So we'll just hold it in place with that. And then on this end, we'll do the same thing. And then we can snip out the piece that the rest of it and save the rest for another. It's really super easy, super easy. So just snip that. Now we can see that this measures, actually now this measures to five and a half, which is perfect. So then we want to cut this piece to be just a little bit larger, like a quarter of an inch larger. And then we'll cut um, another piece of white to go on behind that so that it stands out from our background. All right, I prepped some things for the card. So this will go in the middle. This is the ribbon threading that we did. So I will glue that to this mat and layer that will go in the on the card this is my six by six card i'm going to open it um, sideways this is the mat and layer for the front so i'm going to go ahead and put that down and we're going to be adding to this card uh, more than just the ribbon threading so i'm going to have it go up and down like this and then we're going to add this to the front of the card. Now you ask probably why do you mat and layer uses paper? Well, you can always cut the middle out if you're trying to preserve special paper for sure. Um, but it gives it that professional finished look. And I just really, really like it. All right, so you can see this will go in the middle here or towards the top. We'll see how we want it. Then I did go ahead and do celebrate because we're celebrating uh, Hondo's birthday. So I'm going to color in these little feet prints um, a little bit more dark and then I uh, stamped some bones and then a little puppy and I've got some little feet prints leading there. That's why I'm thinking I may want to um, to move that up towards the top a little bit, but we'll see. And then I'm gonna actually cut around that so it won't, this all won't be there unless, yeah, see, I don't wanna do that. Then I have Forever Friends already matte and layered as well as the inside. A dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than he loves himself. So we've got quite a bit here to play with. The first thing that I wanna do is and to go ahead and color this and this in and then we'll uh, put it all together. To color the feet, little prints in, I am gonna use some of this gray, and this is an alcohol-based uh, tri-blend brush pen, and this is the dark, and I'm kinda of going out of order. Usually you go light first, but I'm just gonna pull that dark in with this light, and hopefully it'll look okay. If not, I'll just come in with the medium and blend it all together. Also, the alcohol inks do dry, so um, as they dry, they lighten up a bit. Okay, so we're just blending these in, and you can see how it's already lightening as I'm coloring them. So we're coming back in with the light a little bit, and just going over that whole thing and uh, you'll see that that gives it some gradient color, a little bit of shadowing. All right, so that's done. All right, so let's do the same thing with these feet prints here. I'm gonna take that dark, go first at the bottom, and then just at the bottom of the feet. And this one's a little bit lighter, and I did that on purpose, but the footprint will still be kind of dark. Okay, light. And if you are, you know, not so into coloring, you can fast forward. We are going to put the charms on the ribbon before we mat and layer the ribbon up. 
Okay, now my dog is not, um, this looks like a golden retriever. My dog is not a golden retriever. My dog is a collie, and if I wanted to, I could just put a, a picture of him on here, but I think I'm just going to go with this as a, you know, kind of a symbol. So, I think it would be good. And then I could put a picture inside the card from his first birthday. Again, do you celebrate your pet's birthdays? And how do you celebrate your pet's birthdays? All right, so see, that looks cute. Looks like he kind of came in. Let's, let's give it some shadow. Let's give him some shadow here. There we go. All right, maybe he had a lot of fun on his birthday. All right, so my dog is sort of a, got the gold and the different, you know, brown, sable, and white. So I'm just going to kind of go with that around here. He's um, got a white collar, but I don't know that um, this dog would actually have the same coloring. So I'm just going um, to color this one like this. And then I'm going to bring in some of the dark. And, and this is kind of a light color, which I think will look okay as we work, work, work on him. And um, this is called Gold Yellow Blend. So let me try this. Let's see, I've got a muted brown and then I don't really want too dark of a brown. I have an earth brown. Let's try this muted brown. I really don't want too dark. Let's see. That's okay. Let's do this under. Because then we'll start to blend. This is a happy puppy right here, isn't it? I forgot his tail over here. Okay, so let's. And you have to remember there's shadows, and you just have to start blending. All right, so let's go with this light color here that's on here now. And we're gonna start blending this puppy out. Lighten up, so and I've got this around his nose, so I want to let's see what we do with this. Let's make some brown eyes. Let's go around his, his nose. This light color back in on his face. I'm sorry, I kind of go into a uh, coloring coma whenever I start. Coloring and I forget to talk. So maybe maybe I should put on music. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. It's a cute puppy. 
Okay, a little pale pink tongue. Okay, we can put a little dark back here on that. And we'll blend that back in. There we go. That's a cute puppy, yeah, don't you think? All right, so I'm gonna cut him out and we'll, this puppy will go on the front. All right, I'm so excited about this card. Okay, so this is a swivel chain clasp from Tim Holtz. And it opens and then you can hook it on. And then I've got these chain um, little charms, the little wolf and the bone, and I'm gonna hook it onto this chain clasp. And then I'm going to affix the chain clasp to the ribbon before I adhere it. So in case you wanna see, I just take the little jump ring and open it with my pliers, just like that. And then I'm just gonna hook it onto this jump ring here that's already on this uh, swivel clasp. This one is on here. So then I'm just gonna hook that on and close the jump ring. I'm gonna make sure it's tight and closed. And then this one, I'm gonna actually hook it up onto a link that is further up. So, let's see, where's my opening here? And then I'm just going to hook it onto one of these links here so that it hangs down. Just like you would for a charm on your junk journal, just like that. So then I've opened this already. So we're gonna want to hang it from this ribbon thread. Uh, let's see, where do we wanna hang it out of? Let's hang it here. And then all you have to do to close it is, sometimes it's really tight, so just squeeze it with your pliers and it'll, it'll hook in, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna affix this here, and this is gonna hang, and if you don't want it to hang all the way off, of course, you can um, glue it down, all right? So now we're just gonna glue this in place. We've got all our sentiments and everything, and it's gonna look really cute. So we're fixing this here for this panel. And then here um, you can use, I'm just gonna use a little glue. I'm just gonna go around all the little um, empty places. Uh, I mean, not empty places, places that are empty. And I'm just going to glue this down uh, to that piece. And this charm will be um, part of that. So we're just gonna put this in here like this and it will glue down. So we'll want this to, you know, set pretty good before you start to, um, you know, think it's gonna stay forever, right? All right, so if you want this to hang loose, you can or you could like, I think I'm gonna use some 3D foam and hold this in place so then the rest of this will. This also is my puppy dog and so he's gonna sit here. So I'm gonna take this piece and go ahead and glue it down and I think I'm gonna glue it about here instead of in the middle. Okay. And that white piece fits all the way across. Now the puppy dog is actually gonna go on with 3D foam. So we're gonna, and you could color your, if you did something similar to this, you could color your puppy um, however you want to. And I just went with the golds and browns. Let's see if this will hold in place. Okay. I'm going to just pull these off real quick. I think I hear my kitty cat getting into something up here. <laughs> 
All right, so then we're gonna put this at the bottom here like this. Isn't that look cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, then we're gonna take a piece of the 3D foam and hold this wolf in place. So let's see, it's a little, bit, oh, it fits just right. I'm gonna cut a little bit off of it though because I don't want it to really show. So we'll do this. Now I'm not gonna glue down the bone, just the wolf. And that will help it to be stable. All right, so wolf, I'm gonna put it right here. Now the rest of the charm can actually move right okay so then we have a celebrate so do we want to put celebrate right there or over to the corner i don't know i don't know forever friends i couldn't make up my mind this is going to go on the inside i think forever friends instead of the other actually right and we're gonna also put this on with the foam adhesive and we're gonna put it catty cornered like this okay so cute okay then on the inside we're going to adhere our message and I'll just put celebrate in there because I don't want to not use it so this message will go, let's see, we want to get it as centered as we can. Let's see, how's that look? Look good to you. And then we'll just put celebrate over to the side. And I have an extra bone, so I may just glue that in as well. Celebrate, got this little bone. I'll just put it down here on the bottom, right here. And there's the card using the ribbon. I don't know what got on there. Using the ribbon threading, and it looks kind of like a um, collar. So here's my charm that I used and my little puppy. And then a dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than he loves himself make sure that's even I think so all right well I hope you enjoyed this video hope that um, you had fun with it I feel like um, something got on there maybe from coloring I'm not sure so I probably will need to find some way to cover that up maybe I'll just put another charm I don't know anyway thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and this will inspire you to do something outside of the box that's totally totally creative and not actually how it was the way that it was intended because sometimes you know you just want to create outside of what the norm is and just throw this away <laughs> so thanks so much for watching enjoy your day bye bye